Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing some stretches that's going to help to alleviate pain in your spine. If you're experiencing tightness, stiffness, or any kind of discomfort from your mid back to your lower back down to your pubic bone, these stretches will be really great to improve your range of motion, to increase your flexibility, and to live better with no discomfort on your back. Grab something comfy underneath and let's get it started. I want you to sit to the length of the mat, bending your legs right in front of you as you take both your hands behind. You're going to extend one of your leg out, flex the toes underneath and you're going to hold it here for an isometric hold. This is a good stretch that ranges from your gluteal muscles down to your heels. So that's going to in turn ease off your lower back. Now let's take it to the next notch. I want you to get hold of your calf muscles reaching forward towards the leg. And turning to the other side with one hand taken behind, elbow of the other goes onto the knee, twist behind. If you are experiencing too much back pain, just stay to the point where it feels good and comfortable. And now you're going to extend the arm and turn and look behind. A soft gaze behind. And let's get to do the same thing on the other side. Extend your leg, flex the toes underneath, make sure the leg is fully placed down to the mat, holding for the isometric hold. Grabbing your calf muscle, getting down deep till you feel your back easing off. Moving on to the back twist, taking the hand behind, getting the elbow down to the knee and turn to your side. Now extending the arm and getting deeper for a soft gaze behind. Please hold it till you feel it, until you feel it's good. Wonderful work. I really hope that felt good on your back. Now let's get back to the same stance, knees bent in front of you and we're going in for an external rotation. You're going to open out one of your legs, let it fall down to gravity and feel the beautiful stretch on the insides and the outsides of the leg. Switch to the other side. So your gluteal muscles are connected to your hips. So you gotta stretch these muscles out, your thighs and glutes, in that way you're feeling the ease on your lower back. And now we're gonna drop both your legs down on either one side, lifting your hips away from the mat, peeling off the side butt cheek. And this one is really good for the hips again and straight to the lower back. And switch. I'm sure you're feeling good with this. And now extend both your legs out straight, 
open it a little bit wider than your hip distance, that is to the mat distance, flex the toes underneath and press your legs against the mat. Now walk your hands forward till where you can reach. Hold for an isometric stretch here. Moving on to the figure four. For this, take one of your leg and place it right above your knee. Don't place it on your knee joint. Taking your hands behind and just hold it here. Try to press the knee down towards the mat, stretching for the piriformis muscle on the outside of the thigh. And switch to the other side. Taking the legs out in a figure four and hold. Wonderful work. Now getting your legs to a diamond shape to the butterfly, feet together, knees apart and pull it in as far as it feels good in tiny steps in tiny pulses you're gonna hold it here firm gripping down to the mat with your glutes marching your fingertips in front and dropping your head down heavy as you hold here and breathe this is a beautiful release for the back and if you're pregnant or a new mom, I'm sure this one feels heavenly. And let's get to the next position. We're going to lie down and we're going to do some back strengthening work. So this one is going to strengthen your back, your sciatica muscles. And let's perform some back strengthening core work. We're going to get to the pelvic bridge. Hands by your side and your legs bent. And you're going to slowly reach your glutes up to the tabletop position. Hold it nice and high and begin to squeeze your butt cheeks. So that's really important to release your tailbone and your sciatica of any tension or tightness that's been built due to sitting long hours in front of the computer or for an exhausted back. Guiding both your hands down to your hips, we're going in for pelvic bridge dips now. Slowly drop your butt down to the ground and lift it up. Let's do this nice and slow. These moves are great to strengthen and to relieve any tightness and pain from your lower back and also your sciatica. Wonderful, slowly drop down each vertebrae at a time and hug your knees in towards your chest. Rocking yourselves back and forth to massage your tailbone. Let's finish off with a few more back strengthening stretches and ease. I want you to take one leg over to the other and hug the other thigh from the inside with your hands. So this is a glute four stretch. Beautiful, beautiful strengthening stretch for your hips, for your back, for your glutes. And take it to the other side. A 
and hug your thigh from the inside and bring it in towards your chest. And going in for a supine twist for your back, I want you to take your right leg over to the left like so and drop it down to the left side of the room. Get hold of your leg if you can and you'll feel a nice twist on your back. And switch take the left leg over to the right side and drop it down towards the right And let's do the reclining butterfly pose, the same thing that we did on seated, feet together, legs apart. Feeling that beautiful deep stretch on your groin, with your back settling well down to the mat. Hands guided down to your thighs if you need to, and tiny little butterfly flaps. And one last final stretch to finish and bind everything on the whole. I want you to extend your legs down, interlace your hands, take it right over your head and you're going to give yourselves a nice full body stretch as you did all these wonderful relieving stretches for your lower back. So those are my top few favorite stretches to relieve the lower back and I'll be creating more parts to this very soon. If you like this video, favorite it and keep trying it over and over again. And the more often you practice, the sooner you will see results in terms of reducing that pain and to live a better life in your own body with no pains and aches as such. Thank you so much for doing this along with me and until next time, take care.